Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm back with another video, the most requested video, how to bypass KG lock on Samsung Galaxy A03 Core. The security updates of this phone are a bit high, but I have successfully bypassed it. Don't skip the video, just go step by step as shown in the video for a successful unlock. And if you have any questions, you can contact me on Instagram. So let's begin the video. This video is featuring how to unlock your own mobile phone, not the phone that you found on the road, or maybe phone that belongs to someone. So I'll just basically show you the process of unlocking your own mobile phone. So first thing first, you need to get access to your mobile phone. You need to have access to the settings. As we all know, the star hash zero star hash method doesn't work on Samsung Galaxy A03s and Samsung Galaxy A03 Core. So we have a different method. First thing first, go to the Google Play Store and disable the Play Protect. Go to the Google Play Store and disable the Google Play Protect. Make sure the Play Protect is turned off before starting the process of unlocking the phone. If you are not sure on what to do, kindly don't touch your phone. But if you follow the simple steps I'm about to show you, then no need to worry. First thing first, go to settings, then go to system, then go to about phone and tap the build number seven times to activate the developer mode, the developer options. It's not possible to unlock the phone without enabling the USB debugging that comes along with the developer options. So while we are here still on the system, the developer options, just scroll down until you find an option saying USB debugging and turn that on. USB debugging. Allow USB debugging. USB debugging is intended for developer purposes only. You see to copy data between your computer and your device. Okay. While you're still on the settings, before exiting the settings application, go to lock screen and security lock screen and security then go to screen lock type and make sure it's on swipe or none make sure it's on swipe or none or else your phone will be stuck on a booting loop called starting android and to get out of the booting loop called starting android you have to factor reset your phone that comes along with losing all your data if you haven't backed up then we need a fast data cable because we need to do actions really quick before the phone detects that we are about to unlock it. So we need a fast data cable. Make sure you have an original data cable or a fast data cable. Samsung Galaxy S03 Core. Okay. It's the same same command that we are going to apply but in a different way. You're going to apply the command but in a different way. So stick to the video, stick to the video. So we're going with the first process. Right click to your PC and go to new, then create a new text document and then type the following command. Make sure you type the following command as shown in the video. It's the same same command of disabling the system UI. You all know Android 13, disabling the Android 13 system UI will result on the phone restarting. That is because your data cable is not a fast cable or maybe it's, let's say it's a normal cable, but you actually need a fast data cable for quick actions. It's the same same command of disabling the system UI. Then go ahead and enable cmd or the powershell go and open the powershell or the cmd and run as administrator make sure the notepad and the cmd are back to back for comparison you don't need to make any mistake even a comma or a mistype can lead to a failure of unlocking the mobile phone so go ahead and run as an admin first thing first then just click on OK to allow this app to make changes to your device. 
and then make sure they are back to back for comparison make sure you type what is written there you don't need to make any mistake any punctuation or or if you mistype any mistype any wrong punctuation will lead to a failure java execution will fail java execution will fail so while you're still here on the track you can either copy directly the command or you can type it manually so i'll prefer to type it manually i'll just type adb shell i won't hit enter because when i hit enter the mobile phone will power off will either power off or restart so i'll type the command as one command one straight line one straight line because when you hit when you try to create a shell maybe there's a package that detects you are about to unlock the mobile phone and the phone will reboot automatically i may be thinking or i will look for that package but actually it will take months because on this mobile phone there are total of 400 packages installed on this mobile phone so i'll go testing each one by one until i found the exact package but actually let's stick with this process after typing the system ui then i'll hit enter when i hit enter it will ask me to enable the usb debugging on my mobile phone just as i hit enter you'll get a prompt message asking you to allow usb debugging so all i need to do is go ahead and click on always allow then click on allow you need to click on always allow make sure you click on always allow first then allow will follow second okay we're here asking me to allow and if you are slow you'll have to retype the command as i have delayed i'll get i'll close the window shell then i'll reopen the powershell and retype the command the powershell and the cmd doesn't have a lot of difference i can either copy or retype the whole command or i'll just close the cmd then reopen the cmd for a fresh start as long as i've already enabled usb debugging i won't have any complications the unlock process will be smooth i'll paste the command then i'll hit enter when i hit enter my mobile phone will go off and if my mobile phone goes off i need to unplug the cable before turning on the phone to prevent the process from reversing which is re-enabling the system UI. I'm sure there are some people who already skipped the video or maybe they got bored on the way, but actually it's not, it's not a very, very boring process. Once you concentrate and you try to unlock your phone, you'll actually get a grateful result. So then the phone, as I said, I will power it on when I have disconnected the cable from the PC. So the phone is not connected to the PC while I'm restarting it on. That is after I hit enter on my keyboard to execute the command. The phone went off, the phone powered off. So when I need to start the phone or power on the phone, I'll make sure I'm not connected to any data cable. This process or might take a little longer to power on the phone. It might take a little longer. But it's worth it. It's worth it for the result for successful unlock. Boom, we're here on the starting Android. So if you still see that you have the navigation bar or you still have the wallpaper or the status bar. The status bar is the one where you see if you are connected to the internet or not, or whether you see if your phone is charging or you want to look at the time when the screen lock is on. If you see that, just know the phone has done nothing. But if you see this black wallpaper and no navigation bar, just know. And if 
you are not able to take a screenshot. Just know you have a successful unlock. My name is Arnold and I wish you the very best. Please subscribe for more videos and be free to comment any part that you never understood about unlocking Samsung A03 core or any mobile phone. I'll be in touch. Thanks for watching.